Uh, Blue Redu's sword guy for us, so dude on the right. I used to do caster first, and that was a way, way more difficult way to fight the boss. So. The fight is still probably the hardest fight in the main game, but with the easier boss order, it's not as scary. And maybe Garman is arguably harder. Of course, uh, Ludwig Lawrence and Orphan are all much harder than any of these bosses. Mostly because of the the stats, though, just because of the numbers that they slapped on the bosses, which are really preposterously huge. Uh, I think Lawrence has almost 50,000 health, for example, on New Kit Plus 7 or above. I can't get it. Yeah. That was bad luck with how the attacks lined up. It was just something that can happen in shadows. Uh, especially in the, when all three of them are up. So we had fireballs coming in from one side, then the flame torch, and we got the parry, but trying to dodge through the, f the flame torch to land it didn't wind up working. There were some chances that could have worked. But I think the timing was just barely off. But I didn't play poorly, so no, no, no reason to bitch about it or anything, or dwell on it. I think I was in time to get the parry there, but the uh, fireball knocked me out of my attack animation. Which is super bad luck. Whatever. The shot made both of the other two dodge. So I parried one and then the other two dodged and negated their attack animations. So it's always nice. Um, the timing was right on that shot, but uh, just missed. Which happens sometimes, especially with non shot guns. But we got a lucky find out afterwards. So it kind of negated and reset the position. Of course, since we're using the boom hammer, it's going to take a fair, like, two or three extra parries to, to win the fight. I thought that timing was okay. And that is the most that I've ever been damaged by that uh, flame torch. Just straight up one shot me. Didn't even know it could do that much damage. Usually I just dodge out of it if I get hit by it. It doesn't generally do that much, but since I was stuck in the attack animation, I couldn't get out of it. Well, that's the new way to die. The wonders of shadows. <laughs> this is, again, one of the hardest weapons to use on this fight. Uh, because you can't parry. Or because your parries don't do very much damage. Though I have beaten this fight with, uh, with Cost Parasite, which does absolutely pathetic damage, so... Certainly beaten it with harder weapons. I might have beaten it on the first try with Cos Parasite, actually. So I'd be doing about half as much damage as I'm doing or something. Just uh, like 1500 parry, I think. Super, super low. I'm going the wrong way, right? It's over here. The Mysteries of the Forbidden Woods. One of the best places to invade in the history of the Souls games, really. Just because no one really knows where the fuck they are at any given moment. You might know the path, but you don't know the ancillary routes.
We died at almost the same spot, so it should be safe to get the souls again. It's just that the souls are like way up on the left that I'm gonna be less interested in grabbing them. Jesus, that's such bad luck. I am trying to position the stone, which is what you're supposed to do to negate the fireballs, but it's just not working right now. Sure, game. That that was fair. Pop out with their whatever the hell is in them, the worms, before this one dies, and then we have to try to follow up. Let's just hope we get lucky. There's another miss on a good shot. Which as they have no control over. If they're gonna be grouped up like this, might as well do a couple of our twos. I believe the sword guy has the most health as well. I don't think they're all the same health. And the trigger on the worms might just be sheer damage to every every one of the enemies, so it might happen a little bit earlier now. Get a Dane to uh, do something slightly different. So there you see a very slight variance in the thing that killed me earlier. We have to kill this guy or we're gonna get completely destroyed, so have to be aggressive there. And now we should be okay theoretically, but we s there's always a chance of dying in the last phase after this guy dies. It's hard to get the fire sword guy to attack consistently. Sometimes he just falls in love with the candle. But we can boom him through the stone, I suppose. Why not? We try it again, actually. I think it's gonna be a little bit too far off. Of course, hitting lock on there made that a lot more likely to hit, but he backdashed right before it hit him. Bless. If we don't win this attempt, I might go get some more blood vials. I don't know, the two like 29 of them. Because I'm not really relying on the parry beyond the first phase anymore. Okay. Uh, now I just want to lower this guy's health a bit. So that he doesn't have as much health in the final phase. But we don't want to lower it completely because then both of them can summon snakes, I think, so that would be very bad. <laughs> Pretty much die for sure if that happens. Okay, fine. I don't know what happened to the torch guy. Because usually he's just spamming uh, the fire breath, which isn't very dangerous. But now he's like, oh, he stopped fighting me now. I'm gonna use my sword. Be a jackass. Okay, that attack right there is, is what makes this fight hard, especially if we do the other order. Okay, I think we're good here. Because he's stuck in a corner, basically. He's gonna just keep trying to back up and summon snakes. But since we got him in, in a good position, easy peasy. <laughs> We got pretty lucky at the end. 
but that's okay. And there you go, success. We are victorious. All right, I'm gonna go do Kanehurst. Um, we'll clear all the way through Kanehurst, and then go to the Hunter's Dream, get a level, and then I'll fight Ligarius after that. So I don't have to worry about souls during Ligarius. Not that it matters because of the way I fight Ligarius now, I guess we would always get the souls back. But we might as well be super safe. Why not? 